Hey guys, Joel here, Precision Rifle Network. Today is all about tripods, shooting off of tripods. Now I've done several videos over the years on this, but I thought it's worth revisiting because the technology has changed, mounting systems have changed, even just kind of the way that people approach a tripod and the shot process off of tripods has all changed. So I kind of wanted to do an updated video. This one's gonna be a little on the longer side because it's gonna be more like this is everything, it's comprehensive, this is everything you need to know to start shooting well off of a tripod. But first I'm gonna talk about orientation, like, and by orientation I mean how to position the tripod for best recoil management and to get the most stable position you possibly can. Then we're gonna move into the height of the tripod for different types of shooting, different positions rather, like standing, high kneeling, seated, or prone. We probably won't go prone because if you're going prone, chances are you're shooting off of bipods and a bag or something like that. Uh, so then after height, we're gonna move to body position and that is our body position in behind the tripod, different positions like that um, for standing. Once you get the standing, I'm trying to also keep this a little bit short for you guys, or shorter anyway. Once you get the body position behind standing, you've got the body position for high kneeling, low kneeling, and seated as well. So I'm just gonna give you the standing portion to try to save a little bit of time. And we're gonna go into various attachment methods, ways to mount your rifle on these various tripods or whether it's using a bag or whether it's using uh, a plate like the MUB. Actually, let me take a minute there. Gonzo has made a pretty sweet plate. It's called the Mod Dose from MUB. Um, if you're not even sure what I said right there, go ahead and just check the description. There's gonna be a coupon code down there to save you guys 20% off of a MUB device. So check that out and that, I'll give you a total breakdown of that later in the video, but make sure you check that for your discount. Um, so after the attachment methods, uh, we've got the shot process and that will finish up with that. And that's kind of all your normal fundamentals behind a rifle, your, your standard shot process comes in, but there's things you wanna do to get yourself positioned correctly, like just some steps you wanna add to your shot process when it comes to shooting off of tripods. So that's where we're going today. Let me get right into the uh, orientation portion. All right guys, so when I'm talking about the orientation of the tripod, what I mean is orienting it correctly to your target. So fundamentally when it comes to rifle shooting, one of the things we wanna remember is to take our rifle and point it straight towards our target and then we square up our body directly in line with the rifle and pointing at the target. That's proper orientation when it comes to fundamentals. It's kind of no different with a tripod. We want to get our foundation, our base set as good as possible. We got any builders in the group? What's the most important part of a home? The foundation, right? So let's build our foundation the correct way. So what I do is we want to have two of the tripod legs square and facing back towards us and one leg up front facing away from us. So I like to take this front leg and point it as best as possible right at my target. Make sure your legs are fully extended, not kind of like all over, you know. If you got a little bit of slack in one and then you start shooting and it slides, then when you recoil, you're gonna be off target. So you just wanna make sure these are all fully extended, solid, all that kind of stuff. So once my tripod is set, then I take my ball head and I roughly point that at my target as well. Okay, so a test you can do just to make sure that your tripod is positioned correctly and is more stable. Like if some people have questions about whether it's two legs back or one leg back, because back in the day, and I believe in the very first video that I did on tripod shooting, I had one leg back to the rear because it was generally accepted at that time to lean more into your tripod and really grab a leg and put pressure into it to mitigate that recoil impulse. The problem with that is, if you have one leg back towards you and the rifle recoils, it can recoil in any number of directions off of just that single leg. Whereas if you have two legs back towards you and your fundamentals and your position, you're squared up, then when the rifle recoils, recoils straight back and straight back down. 
it's important to make sure your legs are at a proper tension so that when your rifle recoils and the front leg comes off the ground slightly, that leg doesn't accidentally slide down more and now all of a sudden when you come back on target you're like way up above the target. You want to make sure there's enough tension in there that those legs don't accidentally collapse on you. So. Okay you guys, next thing we're going to talk about is how to get your tripod at the proper height for shooting while standing. What I've done in the past, I don't know if you can see it on camera, probably not, but I've got lines marked on my tripod with marker so that I know where to put it for standing positions and, and stuff like that. But you can measure it all out so that it's just perfect. And of course, that really only applies to square range, flat ranges, right? Because as soon as you get on uneven terrain or you need to take one of these legs and extend it out or put it up on a rock or change angles, whether you're shooting up or down, all of this changes and you have to fine tune that height for you personally and the shooting location position and your rifle but let's just presume that we're going to be shooting off of flat ground most of the time with our tripods so the thing that i like to do is i like to ride my my rifle kind of up high closer to my center line some people really like it over in their in their neck like on their neck and collarbone i kind of go between my shoulder pocket and that collarbone somewhere in the middle of there um, and I don't want it too high I don't want to have to be uh, you know fine-tuning my head position and things like that when I get on the rifle so I'm just gonna shut up and show you my process getting the rifle set up on the tripod and then we can talk about it You know, we're going to talk about body position next, but my feet are, are about shoulder width apart. I'm just standing straight up and down. I'm not hunched over or anything. And if I just lean into the rifle ever so slightly, that is finding my shoulder pocket exactly where it needs to be. Okay, so that's what you want. You don't want this thing being up too tall, and you definitely don't want to have to be hunching way over or pressing way over into the rifle in order to get that proper, proper uh, positioning. So this is just about right as far as how it should look. Let's move into body position. So with body position, you really want this upright, neutral kind of stance, okay? You don't want the tripod being so high that when you're standing into it, you're actually kind of rocked back on your heels. You know, this is something that I notice a lot with pistol shooters is that they will stand up completely straight with their pistol and shoot and then with every bit of recoil it moves them further and further back onto their heels we want to mitigate that just enough with our body position off of a tripod behind a rifle so that we don't get knocked back onto our heels but we also don't want to be leaning so much pressure into the rifle and into the tripod setup that we're putting a lot of of influence you know body pressure from us into the system because that's going to make it wobbly and and more shaky than than it than it would otherwise especially if there's a lot of wind so this kind of upright neutral position i've got my feet about shoulder width apart athletic stance my knees are currently locked out what i like to do is i'll stand up directly behind my rifle i'll get the rifle pointed to target in fact i will get my crosshairs right on the target where I'm going to be shooting with as little influence from my body as possible. So now technically, if this is right on target and I've got no wind to worry about, I should be able to just press this trigger and have it hit the, have the, have it hit the target down there. What I've found that just gives me the right amount of distance behind the, the rifle is to place just my hand, just the width of my hand, on my chest and just kind of shimmy up to the rifle 
until that touches, until my hand touches. And then, sorry, I'm a little bit close. There we go. So my, the fat part of my hand just barely touches here. And then I remove my hand and I lean into the rifle. And that's all the forward lean that I want. I don't want any more than that. I have found that it also helps if you tend to put too much influence from your cheekbone into your cheek piece at this point, I have found it helpful to go ahead and lower that cheek piece out of the way. And it actually especially helps for offhand shots or weak side shots where you're trying to line up your non-dominant eye. Getting that cheek piece out of the way really helps facilitate that. And your cheek doesn't need to be on the cheek piece for proper cheek weld. Proper cheek weld is kind of the one fundamental that can kind of go out the window when it comes to shooting off a tripod. So after leaning in, now my body is square behind the rifle. I'm square behind my tripod as much as possible for the shot here. I place my offhand on the tripod up at the top. I'm not pushing forward, think pushing down. And then I can get my, my shoulder here into the rifle just enough to mitigate that recoil and help me spot my impact once I take the shot. And then I can concentrate on the fundamentals of taking the shot. And when it recoils, what we're hoping for now is to be able to fire the shot, have some recoil in a straight line, and then when we come back down into place, the rifle should land right back on target or dang close to it. It should come right back onto target, and that's what we want. So that's proper body position behind the tripod. Okay guys, let's talk about attachment points. Probably the most common now, at least the, the high-tech version now, is the Arca Swiss rail. Now this has been around forever in the photography videography space, but the Arca Swiss attachment is really good for rifles. And a lot of manufacturers like MDT with their ACC chassis and a whole host of others have been milling this into the bottom of their rifles so that you can quickly and easily just attach these directly to a tripod. Obviously other accessories like bipods can be mounted as well and just take full advantage of that long Arca Swiss rail. So I'm going to show you through B-roll how it attaches to the, uh, to the tripod and shooting off of it, but for now I'm just talking through the points. So number one is Arca Swiss. A lot of tripods already have that going for them. So for example, the Really Right Stuff Soar Mark II with anvil 30 ball head is kind of the high-end standard and the head up here itself is Arca Swiss ready. So you can take anything with Arca Swiss like for example this MUB plate and we can just attach it, lock it in and we've got a nice solid platform. The rifle will attach directly to the Arca Swiss so I can shoot off of the tripod as you've seen there. But we can also take accessories like the MUB, which is in use by a lot of um, you know, sniper team match shooters, NRL hunter shooters, competition dynamics field matches uh, shooters. A lot of those guys run the MUB plate. And again, check the description below for a link. It will save you 20% off of this bad boy. Tried to work that deal for you guys specifically for this video. So again, it is the MUB mod dose and you can attach it directly to a tripod and create a nice stable platform to shoot off of so what guys are doing then is you take the mub and then you take your barricade bag right and you can make a nice stable shooting platform or turn it down range lay it on its side if you want just a little more surface area and the other great thing kind of about something like the mub is that you can take you know accessories like this really right stuff tiny ball head and you can attach things onto here and this then will accept and it moves around it'll accept things like a rangefinder or um, binoculars or something like that can attach right to here and makes this pretty versatile so what a lot of guys are doing is they'll mount their their rangefinder over here on this side and the binoculars over here on this side and you can turn the entire plate 
you know, and find your target. And then you've got binoculars and rangefinder ready to go on the same platform. So that's the Mub Mod Dose. So after that, we've got things like the hog saddle. You guys have probably all heard about this. It's been around forever. Uh, created by Josh Stabler, who um, is a Marine, and he's got this company, Shadow Tech LLC. He makes this tripod. Well, I believe that the tripod is made by Slick, but it's made specifically for him. It's called the PIG 0311G, and then you've got the hog saddle, and the big ball head that they sell is the XB52. This entire setup uh, is in use by militaries the world over. It's still kind of a standard. It's very heavy duty. It is heavy. Uh, it's all metal and it'll last you, right? But here's, here's the one downside that I see with this setup. And I'm really not going into kind of positives and negatives of all of the things today. The video would be way too long. But when it comes to shooting off of something like a hog saddle, if you have a stock that is rounded and you try to clamp it in tight on this thing that has completely flat sides, it tends to get a little weird. Um, if your rifle, like, you know, the MDT ACC chassis has completely straight walls on the sides or you have a, a stock on your uh, rifle that has completely straight sides that you can lock it into and it just happens that those straight portions are at the balance point of the rifle you can really lock this thing in tight and then you can of course move it all around with the ball head and get it on plate however you want and of course there's still the barricade bag option right like you could easily just put a barricade bag right on top of that and shoot off of that so there are lots of different ways attachment methods setups to shoot off of tripods. Some have po more positives than others, and um, you know, some are slightly more stable than others, different weights, different costs. But suffice to say, for a good setup, you're probably gonna be in the seven to eight hundred dollar range all in for something that's really good enough to shoot off of, to shoot long range accurately, I guess I will say. Okay, you guys, the final piece here is the shot process. And I'm just going to walk you through what I do when it comes to approaching a target to shoot it with the rifle standing off of a tripod. So the first thing that I want to do is point this front leg at the target, right? So I've kind of already done that. It's looking good. I want to make sure all the legs are spread out as far as that they're supposed to go. And that when I tip the, the tripod back, the leg, the front leg, does not collapse in any way. So make sure these are tight enough, okay? That's a little tip for you there. And I want two legs back towards me. So point that at the target. Then the next thing is to point the ball head at the target. I'm gonna make sure that's pointed in the general direction of the target, okay? And then I'm gonna put the rifle on here and get the rifle on target. Now something I didn't say earlier is, I want my rifle at the balance point. You're gonna get some, some mixed signals in the precision rifle world about what's the best position. Now I say it's situational and there are times when it might be the best option to run it all the way out here on the front. But I think for the vast majority of shooting, you want your rifle on its balance point before you lock it in. So now I'm gonna lock it in on its balance point, okay? Now I'm gonna just look through the reticle here and get my reticle directly on target. Making sure that I'm level. Okay, so now everything is oriented correctly. And if I were to simply take a shot, like I said before, I should be able to just take a shot and not touch this rifle have it go off, recoil straight back, come back down, and when I look through it, yep, still on target. That's the point of this whole setup of the foundation, okay? So then, we want to square up our body to the rifle. 
The tripod is providing a good foundation. It's squared up to our target. Then we've got our rifle squared up to the target or pointing right at the target. And now we're gonna bring our body in directly behind the rifle and the tripod setup. Okay, we wanna find where our shoulder's gonna touch. And then what we wanna do is have a good athletic posture, knees locked out, put our hand on our chest, and I'm just gonna shuffle into the rifle to where I just barely touch my hand to the buttstock. And I'm gonna remove my hand and lean that extra little bit to get into the rifle. Now I've got just enough pressure into the gun that I'll be able to mitigate that recoil and hopefully spot my impact or my miss and make a correction, but I'm not really diving into the gun and I'm definitely not back on my heels where I could get rocked back with the pressure of the blast. So now at this point, you move into your normal shot process, right? You've already addressed the rifle. You're there, you're connected. Now your normal shot process comes into play, right? It's data, it's wind, you figure all that out, and then you use your proper fundamentals, side alignment, sight breathing, trigger pressure, follow through, recovery, all the things come into play, and it should look pretty good okay again with this hand I'm not pushing I'm kind of pushing straight down or just barely resting my hand on here I'm gonna fire the shot recoil it's gonna come back down I'm right on target and I can make my follow-up shot that's it that's pretty much everything you need to know to start shooting off of tripods, guys. You can go back and review. There's a bunch of little points in there. I'm going to try to make it as clear as I can for you. Don't forget to check out the, the link for 20% off to the MUB down in the description. There's also a link for Patreon. I could use your support on there, so please check that out if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more great videos from Precision Rifle Network.